Starting this week, terminally ill patients in California will have the right to end their own lives. The right to die law goes into effect Thursday. It was inspired by Brittany Maynard, a California woman diagnosed with terminal brain cancer who moved to Oregon to end her life legally. Now, California will be the fifth state with a right to die law. KPI X5's John Ramos introduces us to a physician in Berkeley who has opened up a clinic to help people make the ultimate decision. From his office in the backyard of his Berkeley home, Dr. Lonnie Shavelson is preparing for yet another career. He's saved lives as an emergency room physician, told life stories as a writer and photojournalist, and now he will be in the business of helping people end their lives. So Thursday, June 9th, this law starts, and essentially nobody knows what will happen on that day. He's referring to California's new right to die law, allowing physicians to prescribe lethal medications to terminally ill patients who choose to end their lives. Dr. Shavelson has created a new practice called Bay Area End of Life Options to explain what those options might be. Nobody should be calling and saying, I want to do this. What they should be saying is, I want to talk about it. I want to consider what this means to me. The issue gained critical mass with the doctor-assisted death in Oregon of Brittany Maynard, the California woman who chose to end her life rather than wait for a cruel death from her brain cancer. This testimony recorded before her death helped convince the legislature to enact the law. Every terminally ill American deserves the choice to die with dignity. Let the movement begin here, now. But even though there are safeguards in the law to prevent that choice from being rash or involuntary, Dr. Shavelson expects many doctors to be reluctant to help their patients in this ultimate medical decision. In the end, you give the patients all the choices they can possibly have, and then you respect their choice, as oddly we do for everything in medicine except for this one thing. He says he can help physicians understand how the option works and help patients if their doctors refuse. Assisted death for the terminally ill is no longer just a question to ponder. It is now the law. In Berkeley, John Ramos, KPIX 5.